Today, I'm going to show you exactly why your outreach isn't working as a copywriter and how you can fix it in three simple steps. You see, you're trying to get a stranger to pay you money. But here's the problem. They don't know you. They don't trust you. So how do you actually get them to hand over their hard-earned cash for your copywriting services? And it's very simple. There's three mental locks. And so inside of your stranger's mind, the prospects you're reaching out to, you must break these three locks and unlock them and they will give you money. If you're wondering, KJ, this sounds too good to be true. Well, let me show you my proof, right? Why should you listen to me? You should always ask proof of people on the internet. Well, it's because this is where I live in my Dubai penthouse and I made $14,000 this week. I'm just freaking with you guys. I don't live in Dubai. I live in a random place in Georgia in a small town, right? <laughs> this is what I made this week though. So that's kind of cool. But no, no, here, here's my actual proof, right? I don't just sell courses on people on how to sell courses. I actually help people land clients. So um, these are all screenshots from people that I have helped personally in my program land clients. And every single one of these screenshots, it's not like, oh, KJ is so great and nice. Like, these are all paying client wins. There's a million of them, right? So there's just some, just some proof so you know. I actually know what I'm talking about. I know how to get you clients because I've done it over 100 times at this point. So if you have all these, these mental locks locked, you're going to be broke and sad. But if you know how to unlock these three mental locks in your leads, in your potential clients, you will be rich and happy. Because if you just learn how to unlock them, they're going to hand over the money. It's not magic. It's not luck. It's psychological principles. So I'm going to show you how to leverage psychological laws to get people to hand you money. Okay? So starting with lock number one, the anti-bot lock. Now, the psychological law this is based on is that humans want to feel special and receive personalized stuff. You right now want to be special. You want personalized stuff. Think about if you got me to coach you one-on-one, -on -one, right? You would feel very special. It'd be extremely personalized. It'd be straight for you. And so me doing one-on-one -on -one coaching would be way more valuable than you just watching this video. Why? Because it would be personalized to you. So humans want to feel special. And the reason why you're not getting clients is because you have this locked, completely locked. Why? Because you're sending outreach that could be sent to a million other people at once. You're sending outreach that has no effort put in at all. You're sending outreach without any personalized compliment or comment. You're sending outreach without any specificity of their niche problem or pain. You're sending outreach that's all about you and not them. And good Lord, if I see another one of these, I'm going to kill someone. Sending outreach with a backhanded crap sandwich compliment. Blech. Let me give you guys examples of just absolutely terrible outreach that I have received. And if this is you, I'm sorry, but you're going to learn something here today. So yeah, hope you're doing great. I am Shirley representing this company, a company dedicated to doing XYZ. I've attached some inf information about your reference. We're truly impressed by your wonderful videos. Blah, blah, blah. This person does not, they've never seen my videos. Okay. They're just typing this out. This has been sent to a million other people. I do not feel special at all. And look at them. They're just talking about their self. We're this people and we do this. Guys, the harsh reality is if you're reaching out to someone and they don't know who you are, they do not care about you. They could care less. You are one in a billion other people, right? And all this is saying is, hey, I want stuff from you. That's it. It's disgusting. And no one's going to respond to this. The people who do respond are going to be crappy clients who are just desperate. You're never going to get a dream client sending emails like this. Here's another one. Risk to your YouTube engagement. Don't ignore this common mistake. Hi, KJ. This person here, I do this thing. I'm enjoying your videos, a lot of potential. However, I did notice though, there could be some improvements. That's where I come in. Like, it's like saying, oh, your stuff is good, but actually your stuff sucks. So if you compliment someone and then immediately say, oh, it's actually could be improved, terrible. No one, like, never. Look at this. Hi, KJ Rainey. This is an automated thing that they just made the name super big. Like, guys. Everyone knows that you're just spamming this to a million other people. No, people aren't stupid. Just by saying their first name does not make it personalized. Everyone knows that you can literally just personalize a name based off of just using automated tools. Look at this one. They didn't even say my real name. They just said my channel name. They didn't even automate my real name in here. Like, I do not feel special at all. Hey, recently I analyzed your channel and found there's a lot of issues with your channel. If you send this to me in a DM, I'm never talking to you again. I don't care who you are. If the first thing you do is just roast me, you're never getting a response. And if you're sending things to clients saying, hey, your stuff is wrong, the stuff is terrible, you're never going to get a client, ever. Because they don't care about you. And if the first thing they see from you is an insult, 
Bro, it's never going to work. So how do we unlock this lock? How do you unlock the anti-bot lock? It's very simple. First step, you must send outreach that they think is 100% personalized to them, even if it isn't. So in Copy Elite, I show my guys how to send 100% personalized emails. They're not actually personalized to these people. They're sending them at scale. It is personalized, but it's automated at scale. But they think that it's 100% personalized, and that's what matters. And so every outreach you send needs to seem like you put some effort into it. Even if you didn't actually put a lot of effort, it must look like you put effort. And you must send outreach with a personalized compliment or comment. Um, not just like, oh, your stuff sucks. Your stuff is good, but actually your stuff sucks. Let me help you. That's never going to get you clients. Just compliment them on what they're doing. That's going to go way further. Send outreach that is very specific about their niche, problem, and pain. If you just say, hey, I can help you enhance your business and make you more money. No, <laughs> it must be very specific, right? You say, hey, KJ, if you struggle with show up rates being less than 60% and you're sending follow-up emails to the people who book calls, we can help you optimize your system to increase your show up rate to 75% plus guaranteed. Like you see how that's so specific to the exact problem that I might have. Now yours is gonna be different because you're reaching out to people who need copywriting, but you gotta be specific. Don't just say, let me enhance your business. Well, what the frick does that mean? What does that mean? No one's gonna sign you with, with messaging that vague, right? Specific. Then send outreach that's about them, not you. It should never be about you. Don't come in here saying, I do this and I do this and I have this. No one cares. They don't care about you. They care about them. Send the outreach that's about them. And for the love of everything good in the outreach world, do not ever, ever insult them or their business in any way. Ever. Do not do this. Do not say that you could do something better than them. Don't say this. Don't insult them at all. At all. Just compliment them. That's it. So let me show you um, a DM from Griff that landed him a 4K a month plus client. He'll be paid even more than that this next month. Now, the only reason why I'm showing you this message is because we've already leaked this on the YouTube. But normally, I would never show you guys actual messages. Why? Because you're going to copy it and you're not going to get results. What did we talk about? It must be personalized. If you just copy what people do on this channel, it's going to fail. All right? So, I'm, but I'm, I'm going to show you guys an example because you guys are going to beg for it in the comments. Oh, show us what a good outreach looks like. Well, here you go, okay? Yo, Trevor, here's five super small tweaks that I think could help you with YouTube views. You're crushing it already, though. So maybe if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Feel free to use them if you want. Do you see any backhanded compliment? Do you see any roasting his business? No. He actually said, you're already crushing it. So if it, don't break, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. LOL. And look at how personalized this is. Trevor YouTube title edits. There's no way he automated this. In fact, you can't automate this, but th that's not what the client thinks, right? He thinks that this is personalized to him. What was his response? Yo, shout out for you doing outreach the right way. That is the responses you get by actually just following these locks. All right, so that is lock number one, right? The anti-bot lock. Just by showing them you are a real human who's reaching out to them 100% personalized, you're going to crush everyone, okay? But that's just lock number one. Moving on to lock number two. Humans do what they think will benefit them. This is a psychological law. You are watching this video because you think it will benefit you in your journey. And it will. It will help you send better outreach by watching this video, which is why you're watching it. So if someone wants to respond to your outreach, they must believe that it will actually benefit them. And right now you're saying like, oh, I'm sending people, oh, hey, 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 I can, uh, I can enhance your business by writing persuasive copy. Here's the problem. They don't believe you, Goober. <laughs> they don't believe you at all. You, you can say all you want about how you're going to do all these things, but they don't believe you. So they don't think it will actually benefit them. I promise you. If you send an offer that solves their problem and they believe that you will actually do what you say, they will respond. The issue is they don't believe that you will actually benefit them. So here's why you're messing this lock up, right? You're sending outreach with an oversaturated, generalized offer. I can enhance your business through persuasive copy. The frick does that mean? What does enhance mean? I can help you make an extra 10K a month. Okay, but how? What problem do you solve? right? You must have a specific offer to a specific problem. You can't just say, oh, I'm just going to like, let me make you more money. Like people don't believe that. It's not believable. 
also, you're sending hours talking about how good you are and you're not showing it at all, at all. You're sending hours trying to trick them into thinking you want their offer and then trying to pitch them. Oh, if I see one more of these bait and switch method, I'm going to go crazy. Do you think business owners are stupid? Do you think marketers are dumb? They know what you're trying to do immediately. And all you're doing them is the first step, like the first contact they have with you, their relationship begins with you lying to them. In what world is that ever a good idea, guys? Please, please, don't ever do this. Don't not ever try to trick someone to bait and switch, the bait and riz, freaking garbage, okay? Garbage, don't ever do that, ever, ever. Your whole relationship begins on a lie. And how is that good in any sense, okay? And the, the biggest mistake is not having any freaking proof that you know at all what you're talking about or you can do what you say. That's it. I don't care what you say in the DMs. If you have no proof, no one's ever going to take you up on it. And the only people that will are going to be desperate people. So can I tell you a pro secret? Most of you aren't even good enough to get a free client because that would cost your clients too much time, which is more valuable than money. So people were like, KG, why aren't people responding to me? Well, I can tell you as a business owner, I value my money way more than I value my time. I would rather give you $2,000 and never have to waste a second managing you than I would have to get on an hour-long call with you once a week. That's worth more to me, my hour-long call, than it is money. So don't, just because you're offering this for free, it doesn't mean it's free to them. It's going to cost them time. So if you seem like you have no clue what you're doing, no one's ever going to respond to you because they know that it's going to take too much time. Look at this outreach right here. Hey, KJ. Hope you're doing great. I saw that you're creating amazing long-form and short-form content. I can definitely help you skyrocket your engagement. Once again, what the frick does that mean? What the heck does skyrocket your engagement mean? What does that mean? By editing highly engaging long-form. What does that mean? What does engaging long-form mean? And short-form without a... With your business, worth a conversation? No, no, it's not. It's not worth a conversation at all. And that's why I didn't respond. Once again, you see what I'm saying? Generalized, oversaturated offer. Engaging, skyrocketing content. No proof, no proof at all. No proof. So why am I, am I gonna respond? Absolutely not. Hello boss, I'm this person and I help creators get desirable results. What does that mean? What the heck does desirable results mean? Um, we believe you deserve more recognition and with my editing service, I can help you create content plus my eye catching thumbnails to get you more views in just 45 days. I promise click through rate and average your view duration. No proof at all. How about we do a free sample for you? No, no. Why? Because that costs me time. I might as well pay you a hundred dollars. I would rather pay you a hundred dollars to just never talk to me again than to give you an hour of my time trying to set up this free content that might not even be good. So if you're going to send proof, send it. Don't ask to send it. Send it. Okay? So how do we unlock this? How do we unlock this lock? Well, sending outreach with a specific offer for a specific problem. No more get your dream body. No more engaging content. No more skyrocketing views. Talk about specifically exactly what you will do for them. I will help you get your first 1,000 Twitter followers. Guaranteed. I will post four medium form, short form Twitter post every week based on your long form content. Talk about what you're going to do specifically. Then send outreach, which proves how good you are and that you know what you're talking about. I can tell you just by him saying my eye catching thumbnails, like he has no clue what he's talking about. No clue. If he was to say, I was going to send you thumbnails with with a predetermined brand image that's going to give your audience a repeatable, um, stimuli to click and engage with your content like i already know that he knows way more than most people so like prove that you're good just by freaking talking about what you know like goodness and send the outreach that is transparent that you want to work with them not no idiotic bait and switch garbage in all my outreach that my guys send that lands them clients like we get wins every other day at this point people landing clients they tell them hey I'm sending you this because I would love to work with you. Do you see how that is way more trust, way more confidence than you saying, oh, so yeah, tell me about your product, huh? And then it's like, oh, I can help you sell it. Like, 
disgusting, bro. It's just lies. Don't do that. And then lastly, show them you are actually good. If you have no proof, you're wasting their time. Do not waste their time. Do not be arrogant to think that you deserve, like, look at this person. How about we do a sample for you? He's saying that I am not worth his time. I'm not worth him doing a sample already and sending it. So what, what happens? No response, right? No response. Do not be arrogant. If you have no clients and you're broke, you have no clients and you're broke. So go above and beyond for every outreach, right? Every outreach. So look at, look at how, um, look at what Griff did here, right? What did he do? The first message he sent was proof. The first, the very first thing before he said a single word, proof immediately. Trevor YouTube title edits. Here's super five small tweaks that I think could help you with YouTube views. It's specific. YouTube title edits. That's how he's helping him. He, he says you're already crushing it already. Like, he's, guys, this is how you do it, right? Provide value first. There is no value. In fact, all this is doing is sucking value away. It's negative because it's costing me time having to read this and getting nowhere, right? No specificity, no value up front, and no proof. Versus this, right? Proof immediately, value immediately, okay? Now all Trevor has, to, or not, now all this guy has to do, yeah, all Trevor has to do is just decide, will this help me or not? And here's the harsh reality. Some of you guys might be sending outreaches similar to this, but if you suck, you're never gonna get a client, right? You suck, right? So if you send free value that sucks, well, you're never gonna get a response because your, your stuff is not good. So because Griff sent titles that were actually useful, he got a client. So yeah, send value. If you can't create value, go watch my other videos to learn how to write. I made you all these videos for free. Go watch them, learn how to write, and then send valuable outreaches. That easy, that easy. Moving on to lock number three, the anti-beneficial lock. This one could get a little bit tricky, but listen to me. Humans want to know why people do stuff. If someone doesn't know why you're doing something, they're very skeptical of it. And the more one party has to gain from an exchange, the more skeptical the other party will be. If you want to know why being non-needy works so good, this is why. So copywriters will hop on sales calls with me and they'll be like, oh, I don't know if I can if, if I can afford your program or I've, I've been thinking about joining someone else's program. And I'm like, okay, go do it. And they're like, what? I'm like, yeah, like go do it. Like I don't, I mean, I don't, I don't necessarily need more people in here. I only want people who are serious anyway. So if you want to join someone else's, go do it. If you're not 100% committed to our, our community of copy elite, if you're not 100% sold on this, then don't do it. Go do something else. What does that make them want to do? Buy immediately, right? It changes their mind immediately. And I don't say it to trick them into buying. I say it because it's, it's honest. I don't care if they join or not because I don't want goobers in my program. I only want serious people who add to our community. Because I'm non-needy, they want to do it more. Versus if they go to another person and that person starts naming a thousand reasons why they should join their program, it seems needy. And the reason why this works is because if someone has more to get out of the exchange, you're very skeptical of them because you know that if they have a lot to gain, they're willing to do unethical things to gain it. So you're, less, you're a lot more scared of someone stealing who's broke than someone who's rich, right? Because the person who's rich doesn't have anything to gain from stealing a thousand dollar thing, right? But a poor person has a lot to gain from stealing something a thousand dollars. So you have to show your intentions to this and be non-needy. So the reason this is locked is because a lot of you guys are just being complete needy weirdos. And I don't even get it. Like, look at this. I know you get one eighty-five thousand. This isn't even right. But hear me out. I notice you get a ton of leads. As appointments that I'll set you 60 new appointments using my lead qualification strategy that's proven to be set sale-ready appointments. Best part, pay me only for appointments I set to you. No upfront payment, 100% risk on you, 100% on me. Sound fair enough? This is the most needy response or the needy outreach I've ever gotten. And you just send it twice. Like, it's so needy. And here's what happens when you send needy stuff like this. This guy is promising me the world. If he could actually deliver on this, it'd be insane, right? Just give me stuff up front, no risk. But here's the issue. He comes across as these old school scam pop-ups that you used to get on your, your grandparents' computer. Congratulations, you've won a million dollars. Guess how valuable that is? It's huge, right? A million dollars for free. The perceived value seems huge. But why do people not fall for it? Why? 
because it's they don't believe it. They don't trust it. It doesn't make sense. It's like this it's too good to be true. And a lot of you guys' outreaches are so needy and they're so too good to be true that no one actually believes it, man. So don't be needy. Don't be a complete weirdo. Look at this. Hi there. Recently we came across your channel. Look, first off thing. Hi there. I didn't even use my name. Zero personalization at all. Not even automated personalization. Your content has serious potential. Engaging visuals are key to grabbing attention on social media, but right now, shaky editing generic thumbnails might be holding you back. Who in the world talks like this? This is weird. Here's how we can elevate your game. Disgusting. No specificity at all. This is not a human. Humans don't talk like this. Don't be weird. Don't be needy. Just be a freaking human. That is how you unlock this lock. And here's a great rule of thumb. If you wouldn't say it to a friend, don't send it. Look at how this feels. It feels like Griff is talking to a friend, even though he's never talked to this guy. Yo, Trevor, here's five small tweaks I think could help you with this. You're crushing it already, though. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it. LOL. Feel free to use them if you want. Notice how he says LOL. He uses lowercase u. It's not needy. And what does he say? He doesn't say... R respond to me back with an appointment. Let me get you on a call immediately. Like, do you have interest in you? Or do you have time to talk? He just says, hey, feel free to use these if you want. Non-needy. Non-weirdo. Super friendly. The reason why Trevor, this guy, ended up signing Griff is because he's like, wow, this guy feels like a real human being and he actually knows what he's talking about and I need help with this. Let me sign him. It's that easy. You don't have to use this insane weirdo, like, trick tactics like you're marketing to marketers they see right through this guys just be non-needy don't be weird be a freaking human if you wouldn't say it to a friend don't send, don't send it right this is it use these locks to go make a bunch of money hopefully this helps you guys make a bunch of clients if you're wondering if you need more motivation of does this stuff work here is 70 plus examples of people actually landing paying clients like getting invoices paid to them okay 3K month retainer. Thank you for everything. Payment. Closed deals. Money. $800. Yeah. Here's over here. Get, going, getting this 2.5K retainer. $1,000 here. $500 a month. 25% rev share. 20% rev share. Um, yeah. 20%. 10% commission. Like another deal closed. Yes, sir. $600. $1,000. Like just this stuff works. Go use it. Love you guys. Hopefully this helps you make a bunch of money. And um, see you later.